chapter. Apologize, you guys, just trying to get a little bit of food in us up here. We saw Ian Tyndall. Number 113, Duke Stevens Racing Team, Joe Fender Suspension, etc., etc. Ian just made his pass in that tough truck. Course. Out on the tough truck track, doing his thing with a pre runner here. Colts put a lot of effort into the suspension and chassis on that hot dog. 2.30 E for Steve Anderson. That actually is a heck of a pass for him. Puts him in number one spot in the Superbox class. The guy is. Nice air. Nobody gave us a radio or gave them a radio. But you can see how long I'm doing. This big old Ford here, long wheelbase compared to what we saw on some of these other rigs. That poor old Ford taking a bit of a lick in there too. They've shortened this track up quite a bit this year. Whoa! Wow, talk about air! Scotty! Whoa! He's beating that Ford up. Scott's been racing forever. Woo! Yeah. you can get out of a geo tracker but he did a good job passed down from the super modified meanwhile jamie peregrine doing his thing with the, the rainbow board here i think old fish going for a heck of a ride on the roof there <laughs> That gets hurt on the back. Four point four zero five was the time for Dennis Parody in the Muskeg Special. We got Cody Beerhead out on the track. Calls the truck the animal. Red Rooster Colick, SSP Racing Team, and Times Relayed up to us. Jeff Boyer in the North Lane. Blown Insanity, 572 cubic inch, big lot Ford. You see the bucket injector sticking out of the hood? That is the air intake for that big blown Ford. In the other lane, 1941 Willys, Brian DeLong, Jeff's from right here in Bonneville, trying uh -oh. to west of them. Oh. Oh.
this toss forever. 605, big block Ford in that little green Ford Ranger on nitrous oxide. In the other lane, a competitor to this. So in the Pumod class, we saw Dennis Birdie in the Muskeg Special turn a 4.40. Pone and Sanity, Jeff Boyer was a 3.6. And bad boy Willie, Brian DeLong, comes out on top with a 3.10. So now we're in the super stock class here. The difference between those two, super stock has to run stock frame rails, and uh, the class above the pro stock, Tomon, I should say, runs tubular chassis. So the first class is quite a bit lighter in weight compared to the other two. Engine configuration. It's got a reverser box that goes in the transmission. The motor's in there backwards, actually. The idea originally was to take the weight off the front wheels when that rig ran through the mud. It's a Texas rig in a 568 cubic inch big Chevy in resurrected. Colin Evans! I believe that's Colin on the track. Oh! for a basically stock unit. Chevy versus Dodge. Jeremy Delaire and Dirty Man. With a minivan. Baby Shark, the name of his hot rod. A 7.43 for the Dodge and a 7.084 for the Chevy. So that Chev Dodge battle, in that particular heat, the Chevy came out of uh, Joel Luciak no, in Baby Shark Dodge minivan. We're bouncing on the back there. <laughs> uh oh. So we saw all kinds of different hot rods running in this tough truck track. How about a limo called Strictly Business? Called Malishuski. So guys, we've got a limo that is going to be running in the tough truck competition here. But we're going to film this Dodge. These units you see coming down the pass right now are some of the open class units. You're going to see them running here in a little bit. Make out compared to all these others. You look at the length of that little geo tracker that was one of the first ones to run. You can put about four of them in the length of that limo. And that's now that is a lot of car. But what you got? So far so good. Woohoo! My truck, I got it out of it. You gotta get some momentum to make it over those and get high center. But that's not even quite an eighth of a mile here though, is it? Uh, 220 feet. 220 feet. Something like that. Jeez. Uh oh, now there's that's, trouble. That's nasty. Did you see it run? Right. That little low, uh, huh. that dune buggy thing? Sand rail? Fair or some fucking thing? You can't race it all in this, eh? Can't see what happened. Oh, the nose is peeking out. He managed to make it now. This is where things are going to get interesting. He's got to get some momentum up here. Or he's going to get high standard. Yeah! <laughs> Oh yeah? This one you can race in a look, can you? Not for dead, does it? Yeah. What do you get out of that? A couple of bucks. Oh! 
No, but you I wonder how many pieces of beer it took to decide to run a limo over a tough truck track. None. The same one by saying it all when I don't want to No, no. But uh, that Mrs. Thinking he's hung up back in there ago. somewhere. It looks better? like the table yeah, would have gone around to give him a little shove here. And we've got the like the <laughs> Traffic jam at tough truck. A limo. Having to navigate around a bobcat. <laughs> oh, the stuff you see. <laughs> Just a little bit of assistance for that limo. Good plan, but uh, wow, that thing is a freight train. So he obviously is a DNF. is what that thing originated on. Heck of a lot of work went into that paint job. Man, that board is mean in business. <laughs> We're up in the NASCAR quarter. Is he going to make it all the way to the finish line? <laughs> wow. Where's Spoon at? Spoon's at the diesel here. That's Stephanie Nelson and Rick Hoffman. GMC. The Coopers. Hot Rod Turbo Card 4390. Stephanie on the throttle with that. Let's see how the Intrepid handles the jumps. He's got her down. <laughs> Let off a little bit, dressed it nice. Didn't nose dive her. Oh, he's driving her. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that could be a little hard on the neck. Neck muscles. Got that world in Jeopardy. He is on a sea wall. Come on, you guys! We got the bobsies going there for sure. Oh, just made the hill. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for Extreme Mudfest content. Um, okay, so this was today was tough truck, um, as you couldn't tell. I'm sorry I didn't get the best quality in all of the footage. Unfortunately, when I went to go get a new camera, I lost my spot up in the stands, which would have given me a better overall view of the tough trucks. I really wouldn't have been able to shoot it on my 300 mil like I was the Outlaws. So that said, next tough truck challenge or tough truck uh, that's in Alberta or Saskatchewan, let me know. Send me a message. A couple of you know me by Facebook. A couple of people know me in, in real life. All good. Let me know so I can come out. I'm really interested. I actually, I gotta talk to Ian, but I've got a red Toyota Celica that, if you've been watching the channel, 
might make a decent little contestant for me for that maybe for some content or some footage um if you want to see that let me know in the comments below that said guys i am going to skim through all the footage again uh and make a little bit of a highlight video of what from my perspective um just some of the things i've been kind of including it i kind of cut that all out put my regular intro in because a regular schedule starts saturday so hopefully this is up tonight on thursday i'm sorry i didn't get it out in the morning i run into issues needless to say uh great event by bonneville extreme mud fest all the sponsors honestly guys it's been a great time i'm going to end up with a vip package next year no matter what and i might get rexus caged so if i do get it caged maybe i'll be more than just a spectator with a camera but anyways we'll figure that out as we go through the year so anyways guys thanks for all the love i've had lots of people reaching out to me i've had lots of people subscribing i've had a ton of uptick in the channel let's keep that going up most importantly guys if you do like the content please give me a like subscribe this channel should be primarily off-road based especially during the mud and off-road season uh i got fall in the crawl coming up out in la Ronge this uh end of september so that those videos are going to come out that'll probably be three videos three days maybe two videos one uh, each kind of showing a day and a half but those are going to be coming out at the end of september or into early october so look forward to that i got a couple other things in the works and we'll go from there we've got season ending meets we got lots going on guys so needless to say thanks for bearing through this um if you want any of the footage from extreme mud fest send me an email it's uh, uh it's gonna be right down here and there'll be a link in the in the video uh where to uh where to get a hold of me if you have something specific that you're after let me know i'll pull it out uh, most everything is clipped so if you can see a clip let me know give me an exact second that you want and we can talk about it anyways guys take it easy and you know what if you can watch one of these videos and if you haven't subscribed click my face there should be a red circle here